when you got a pile of laundry on the bed to fold, but filming makeup is life. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Makeup and Madness. For those of you who are new, I'm Stephanie. And for those of you who are not new, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. I appreciate you watching. I'm recreating this makeup look. It was sent to me by my dear friend Amber, two doors down. I hope you like it. I hope I did a good job. If you want to know how to recreate this Pinterest look, just keep on watching. Let's get this eye done. So the first thing I want to do is prime the eyelid. I'm going to use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm going to take a Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush. And I'm going to swirl that into my paint pot. And I'm going to paint my lid all the way to the brow bone. The thing with this stuff is it dries and it sticks. And if you don't blend it out around all the edges, your shadow will be unblendable. And we can't have that. So we can't have unblendable shadow. That's a mortal sin in the makeup world anyway. So we're blending, blending. <laughs> you ladies know the name of the game. Blend. Blend all your edges. Okay. Once that is blended enough, I'm gonna set it. Powder blends better on top of powder. A Real Techniques setting brush and the Flower Beauty Miracle Matte Translucent Setting Powder. I say that three times really fast. And I'm just gonna take a little of that and we're going to... If you put too much and inhale, you will choke to death. I'm gonna take the Morphe 35OM palette and take this shade right here on a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. And I'm really just, you guessed it. You're so smart. I'm blending. You're going to go to sleep tonight and you will wake up saying, blending, blending. Sorry, or you're welcome, whichever. Blending is life. It's really early in the morning, getting ready for a four-year-old's birthday party. Nothing says let's celebrate being four years old like a red smoky eye and some glitter. I'm gonna go back into the Morphe palette. I'm gonna take this shade here directly into the crease and then blend it out on a Morphe E22. And you guessed it, blend. So if you are having trouble having your eyeshadow blended, it could be you're not setting your eye first, laying down a base. So you could either use um, concealer or the MAC Paint Pot, and you wanna put that all over your eyelid and then set it with any setting powder that you have. It smooths out the surface of your eyelid if there's any texture. Um, it evens out the skin tone so you have a nice even distribution of your shadow. So that's really what you wanna do. You wanna make that base as like a flat canvas basically. You're prepping the canvas for your shadow. I'm gonna go back into the Morphe palette and take that red shade on a Real Techniques base shadow brush. And I'm not gonna swipe, I'm just going to pack the shadow on the lid. And you have to do this a couple times to get proper pigmentation. I'm telling you guys, there's something about a warm toned shadow that gives me life. Maybe because it's so reminiscent of the sun. And sun equals warmth and outside and happiness. I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe E22 brush and just a touch of that brown shade and blend over the top of, like right on the top of where that red shadow was because I wanna blend out that line. And then we're gonna go back with the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and that first transition shade we started out with. And we're gonna blend that line. Are you guys picking up a theme? Okay, so this red is not red enough. So I have this NYX Ultimate palette in brights, and I'm gonna take this red shade here. So I'm gonna take just a little of that red, because it is more of a pink tone red than an orange tone red. So I'm just gonna put a little. 
Now I change the color. Kat Von D Serpentina palette, and we're going to use blood milk. Oh, that's just what we needed, a little blood milk. That's a nice red there. Now you know the drill. We laid it down. What do we gotta do after? We gotta blend it. Back with the Morphe E22, and I'm not putting any extra product this time. I'm just going back up the line. Blend that red line out. Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, and blend that out. So you can see, very blended. So our brow bone needs a little highlight. I'm going to take Buxom Custom Palettes. I'm going to use this shade right here. And I'm gonna take it on a Real Techniques Detailer Brush. And I'm just going to put that all highlight, hello. And because I wanna blend that out, Okey now it's time for that gold. I'm gonna take that Loose Pigment Profit on a Morphe G20, not G6, G20. And I'm gonna take just a little of it and we're going to start packing it on in the inner corner. This is definitely a more burnished gold than the picture, but you use what you got. And then that way it's not a total replica. It's, you put your own spin on it because you're using the things that you have and that you've collected. This is just gonna serve as a base for the glitter. Done with that. Liquid Crystal Liner in Crystal Gold. So we are going to just put that over that pigment. I want to take some more of that pigment and I'm just going to pat it over the top. I'm going to go back with that red color, blood milk, and I just want to blend this out. It's hard to do. That stuff is sticky and unblendable. So we're layering is what we're doing. We're going to layer. Lightly put it on the edges and then take that Real Techniques shader brush, adding very, very lightly. I'm going to go back with the Real Techniques deluxe crease brush. I'm just gonna try to blend this out. My blend game is not strong today. Not strong at all. On to lashes. Kiss Poise House of Lashes Lash Glue. It's my favorite so far. And we're just gonna paint that on. Oh, in case you didn't notice, I did do my brows off camera. Hashtag the struggle is real. Don't put it in your eyeball, put it on your eyelid. In your eyeball, hurts a little. It's L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar. I'm just gonna use the actual mascara part. Well, bam Hello, lashes. You guys, we gotta do the lower lash line. The lower lash line, I'm gonna take a Morphe E36, and I'm gonna go in with that blood milk from the Kat Von D Serpentina palette. And I wanna connect, connect from that outer corner and go to the goal. Don't put eyeshadow on your contact. That also is uncomfortable. Then I'm gonna take a Real Technique shading brush and go in with a mixture of that brownish crease shadow and my first transition shade from the Morphe palette. Now that we've done that, it is time for mascara on the lower lash. L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I feel like this gold is farther in than this gold. What to do? Let's see if we can fix that. I'm just trying to blend that line out a little bit more. I don't have any makeup wipe removers, which is normally what I would do to remove any of this fallout. You just take the makeup wipe, wrap it around your finger, and then just go like this, and it gives you a really clean line. But I don't have any of that, and I ain't buying anything extra for this. 
So we're gonna see if we can get this to work. The Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. I'm gonna take a dot. Primer on. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Put that on my hand. Then I'm going to go in with the, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Fair Neutral. I'm going to take the NYX Wonder Stick in the shade Light Medium. And it's a very cool toned brown. You don't want to get warm toned shades because any cool toned brown will mimic the natural shadows of your face. And when you blend it out, you're just enhancing those shadows that are already there. If you put it underneath your lower lip, your lower lip will look like it's casting a shadow onto your chin and look bigger. Same thing with in the middle of the cupid's bow. I'm attempting to contour the nose. We'll see if it works, shall we? I don't think I'm any good at it. We'll see. I'm gonna take the Real Techniques contour brush and we're going to blend. And I wanna blend up. I don't wanna go down, I wanna blend up. It helps if you make this face too. I'm just gonna pinch the brush a little bit. Now I would like to set with some powder. Anastasia Contour Kit. Look at that well-loved palette. And I'm gonna take this shade here. Again, cool tone. Back with the contour brush, and we're just gonna go over that contour. We're cutting all the angles of the face. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna take the matte Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW18 on a Bare Minerals Flawlessly Fli Flawless Flace Brush. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face. A light dusting. So for highlight, I'm not going to show you because it will fall all apart. But it's Becca and Jaclyn Hill's collab, Champagne Pop. I'm going to take the Real Techniques Setting Brush. On the high points, oh, oh look at that. <sighs> oh, champagne pop. You complete me. You complete me. Down the bridge of the nose. 
tip of the nose, Cupid's bow, a little on the chin. I'm gonna take the matte blush and give me mocha on a Real Techniques blush brush. Why is that so hard to say? Blush brush. On the cheek, on the cheek. Right there, on the cheek. I'm gonna fill in my lips with a pencil and then put a gloss over it. I used to never wear lipstick, and now I'm remembering why. I'm gonna take the nip, the nips. <laughs> <laughs> the NYX lip liner in nude pink. I really like this because it's like your lips but better. And I'm gonna take the Maybelline Baby Lips and Peach Kiss. Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here real quick. It's probably about 7 p.m. or maybe a little bit after, and I wanted to just discuss how this eye makeup lasted, and not in a good way. So I'm gonna come in close so you can see. Look at that! That is terrible! I took my lashes off on purpose, so that's why it's lifting around the lash line. But look at that right there. Look how flaky that is. That was that NYX liquid crystal eyeliner. And then you can see how my red shadow creased even though I used the matte paint pot and set it. So I must have the oiliest eyelids on the planet. Like, so glow. If you can name that movie, 10 points to Gryffindor. <laughs> or I have to find something else that works. Or maybe I just have super creasy eyes or Greasy, creasy, oily, hooded, I don't know, whatever. But it didn't really last. That four-year-old party <laughs> was pretty popping. I mean, you know, those four-year-olds can get wild with the gluten-free cupcakes and the bouncy house and all the present opening and wrapping tearing. I mean, it got a little scary there. and Maybe that's why my eyeshadow couldn't hold up to it. I don't know. But um, also just another thing I wanted to point out about this. I mean, it is like flaky. It was really kind of hard to touch. It felt really heavy on my eyes and it was itchy. I didn't like it. I probably won't use it again. That's just me. That's my opinion though. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.